happened tonight at 3 0? Uh, what was behind the second half surge? Um, I think it was just kind of believing in, you know, what what we were doing. First half was a bit of a a bit of a struggle. Actually, we defended quite deep, but at the same time, they only created one or two chances. And um, we knew that if we were better with the ball, um, we'd have a we would create chances, and we did. Can you take us through your goal? You were very calm in the moment. Yeah, it's it's not like me to get to go in the box on corners, so um, just kind of. Held my position at the back post, and the ball just kind of broke to me, and um, just kind of put my head down, put my foot through it, and it's ended up in the back of the net. What does this do for the confidence of the guys in the locker room to have a good result? Like I think we needed it um, after the after the few weeks and the the couple of months we've had. Um, we needed a not just a, the result like that, but I think the performance, especially the second half. Um, and you know, I think that's maybe the first time we've scored three in a game all season. Um, um, no, have we scored three before? Three three against San Jose. Three three against San Jose. Well, the first time we scored three and kept a clean sheet, so <laughs> we'll take we'll take that. What does it mean to get a clean sheet? It's been a while. Yeah, it has been a while, um, and it's something we've you know we've been working on. We've changed now to defending in that four four two and. Um, <coughs> I think, you know, we've actually looked pretty good defensively, um, more compact. So it was important for us to get the to get the clean the clean sheet, and it's it's something for us now to build on for the last three games. Did you tell Thomas he owes you all donuts tomorrow? I didn't actually. I'm just expecting them. I think it's a thing now. Uh, can you talk about that <coughs> defense that you had in the first? Yeah, you were defending a little bit deep, but uh, it it gave you a chance to build. And build that offensive performance. Um, yeah, I mean we know we know Galaxy are a good team. You look at all the players they've they've got, especially like in the midfield going forward. Um, they're a team that like to have possession, so I think we were pegged in defending deeper than we like to. But um, like I said, I don't think they created too much. Um, <clears throat> I can remember um, the striker having a header. Um, pretty early on and then after that it was kind of shots from outside the box so um and then the the striker had another one um hernandez had a had another one in the box in the second half but apart from that it was, we kind of limited them to shots outside the box and um you know if we're limiting teams to that then then we're going to take it was it more about the second half was it more about them dropping off or did you guys just press harder I think we we raised the intensity um, in the second half. We we weren't we defended okay in the first half, but we were we were poor and we were slack with the ball. Uh, so, you know, just being more patient, we put more passages of play together, more passes and stuff, and that that brought us forward as a team. <coughs> and from that, we we created the chances. So, um, it's kind of it's kind of the way our season's gone a lot is you know first half and second half are different stories different pictures and um the second half is what we need to to build on that second half performance you talked about an increased intensity was any of that because of what Sartini talked to you in the dressing room at the halftime or anyone else speak yeah it was it was like a, like a collective group you know um vanny kind of pointed out the ways that we need to be better to prevent them from pegging us in so much and um, you know we said that when we had the ball we had to had to be more patient and try and keep hold of it to create openings and <clears throat> I think the goals kind of came from well the first one comes from a corner and then the second one you know we we put two or three passes together and it shows you how, how far up the pitch we could get just in those two or three passes to create a chance and Luis put a good ball in and Pedro's at the back post so um just those passages of play where we're keeping the ball um, is much better for us and it, it's less running. It's it's going to tire them out more and creates more openings for us. I guess it goes without saying that this is going to help in the confidence department going up against an arch rival on the weekend. Yeah, and the I can remember the last game of last season um, was against Seattle and I thought we performed really well against them there. So we know um, it, it's a tough place for them to come here. And that's the kind of performance and the kind of attitude that we need to be bringing into the game. Uh, 
I think it's kind of been lacking from us in the previous home games but you know that's the team we need to be tough to beat solid um, and create chances when we've got the ball um, that's kind of what we're going to need to bring in on Saturday Thoughts on Pedro Vite's first MLS goal and just the way he's progressed over the course of the year up to this point Yeah I'm, you know, I'm delighted for him he's a, he's a brilliant young player uh, very very intelligent and um, I think he, he played well in Colorado and I think this is maybe one of the first times he's had back-to-back -back starts um, so you know hopefully it's it's something for him to build on individually as well um, and I thought he was brilliant tonight fully deserved his goal and hopefully there's more to come